मुझे इन तीनों पार्ट्स को बता सकता है डज द करंट इन एन एसी सर्किट लैक लीड और रिमेन इन फेस विद वोल्टेज ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी अप्लाइड टू द सर्किट वेन एफ इज इक्वल टू एफ आर स्टूडेंट्स द मीनिंग इज दैट दी अप्लाइड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इक्वल टू दी रेजोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी all of you know that when applied frequency is equal to the resonant frequency that means in that particular case resonance is happening and the only condition for resonance is that xc becomes equal to xl yes or no students please tell me yes, that is what yes, we learned in the last class at resonance xc and xl becomes equal to each other due to which as a consequence what is going to happen the impedance is going to be capital r that means the only opposition existing in the circuit is resistance and that is why students you all know that for such circuits we categorically use the word resistive circuits so when series lcr ac circuit turns into resonance the only opposition acting to current is resistance due to which the circuit will be categorically stated as a purely resistive circuit and we all know that in purely resistive circuit voltage and current are in same phase there is no phase difference they are in same phase to each other students please tell me is part number 1 clear or not tell me okay so can i say that this circuit is purely resistive this circuit is purely resistive and there is no lag no lead can i say that can i say that no yes, lead sir. no lag yes or no everyone clear with this yes, fact sir. come on students very good brilliant okay who is going to answer me when the applied frequency is smaller than the resonant frequency you remember the graph we learned in the last class when the applied frequency is smaller than resonant frequency who can tell me what will be the relationship between xc and xl out of xc and xl which is going to be more okay saloni tell me saloni saloni sir, go XC, ahead beta sir xc will be greater than xl very good very good beta very good when resonant frequency is smaller than the applied frequency students we know that xc is bigger than xl yes or no students please tell me okay yes, if you remember yes, this graph if you remember this graph i plotted for all of you in the last class xc xl versus frequency so for xl the relationship is direct and for xc the relationship is inverse and this is the point when the two values are equal and it happens at resonance frequency so for all these frequencies which are less than resonant frequency we can say that xc is larger we can look into the graph this is the graph for xc and this is the graph for xl xc is larger xc uh, xl is smaller and if you go to the right hand side that means for all the frequencies which are bigger than resonant frequency students you can see xl has large value and xc has smaller value tell me students uh, is this fact clear to everyone that for part number 2 of the question when the frequency is smaller than the resonant frequency then the capacitive reactance is more than inductive reactance tell me this very lcr series circuit is capacitively dominated or inductively dominated who will answer raise your hand this is going to be capacitively dominated or inductively dominated okay dipanshu tell me dipanshu it capacitively very good so this circuit is going to be capacitively dominated and who is going to tell me that in capacitively dominated circuit which is going to lead and what is going to lag okay there are two participants let me go to krishna krishna tell me sir current krishna lead karega very good current leads emf by phase angle 90 or phi by the phase phi. angle 9 very good by phase phi and this phase phi can be calculated by a formula who will tell me 
There is a formula to calculate the space pi. Raise your hand. Ritesh, tell me the formula, please. Ritesh. So tan pi equals to xc minus xl by. Very good. Tan pi is equal to xc minus xl over r. So for capacitively dominated circuits, we can use this formula in order to calculate what phase difference is. Brilliant answer. Going to question number three. So students, it is very clear from the above two parts in our previous discussions that when frequency is going to be more than the resonant frequency, in that case, XL is going to be bigger than XC. And when XL is bigger than XC, then the circuit is inductively dominated. And we all know that in inductively dominated circuits, what is going to lead? It is the EMF, which is going to lead. Okay. So in this circuit, EMF leads current by phase phi. And if we want to know what is this phase phi, we can always use the formula 10 pi equal to XL minus XC over R. Now I will apply XL minus XC over R since now XL is bigger. Students tell me, is there any confusion? Every part is clear to everyone. Yes, sir. All of you tell me. Come on. Okay. Let me go to question number two. Students, let me go to question number two now. All right. Who is going to tell me this question? Very conceptual. There are two graphs given to you in your front. And you need to check, you need to identify that which particular graph corresponds to this, this particular situation or this particular scenario. So when omega is bigger than one by under root LC, voltage and current graphs are correctly drawn in which diagram? Very easy question, students, related to our previous question. Okay, anyone out of you, anyone out of you can guess what is 1 by under root LC? What is this? Raise your hand to answer. What is 1 by under root LC? Ritesh, tell me. What is 1 by under root LC? This, this is complete under root. Okay. This is like this. Okay. Ritesh, tell me. What is this value? Sir, W. Okay. Don't say W R beta. It is omega R. Okay. W is a different uh, letter. We are using omega here. So omega bigger than omega R. Now students tell me when omega is bigger than omega R, I can say, I can say frequency is bigger than uh, resonant frequency. So this circuit is capacitively dominated or inductively dominated. Go back to previous question. When F is bigger than FR, which circuit is this? Inductively, Inductively. dominated, capacitively Inductively. dominated. Very good. Very good. I will say, I will say XL bigger than XC in the circuit or in this scenario. And that is why the circuit is inductively dominated. And students, we all know that in inductively dominated circuit, E is going to be ahead of I. Yes or no? Yes, yes. or no? E is ahead of I. So please check in your diagram. Please check in your diagram in which diagram voltage is appearing to be leading and current is lagging. Okay. Identify you in which diagram A or B. Okay. Tell me in what I didn't okay. hear it. A so part. A. Yes. Brilliant. Yes. Option A clearly shows option A clearly shows that voltage is ahead and current is lagging behind. Now, students tell me uh, whether you are clear with this question or not. Students, please answer. Clear? 